um, since March is my birthday month, my uh, birthday is on March 31st, I thought I'd be uploading two videos a week instead of one so you guys um, get to like know me better. Uh, so for this video, I am going to be um, talking about my favorite art supplies. So let's get started. Um, my latest um, favorite, the Pentel color brush. I really like it. I got it a couple of months ago. I like how the ink flows and I've been using it quite a lot with my um, watercolor drawing uh, painting. Uh, I've never really been one to line my artwork so um, Compared with the Micron um, fine liners and other pens like that, I really like um, the brush pen. And this is the only brush pen I have ever had. But so far, it's um, really fun to use. And I like the way it flows and the varying line thickness I could get from using it. The next up is my little Kuropi pencil case. Uh, General's Charcoal Pencils. I really like these. These have been my favorite since I've been, um, since high school. Uh, they're what I learned to shade in. Um, I really like how they feel on your hand. And they, um, they are prone to breakage since they're so soft. But I really like them. I just have to be careful. I'm a bit of a klutz, which is why they probably break as much. I know a lot of artists don't have to buy them as wrinkly as I do, but that's just because I drop a lot of things. Christmas color, color pencils. I keep them in my Lazy Susan. I have 70. I think it was the 72 set I got for Christmas, and then I had like a 12 pack. And then I used to have like an older, um, older set I got at the thrift store. I believe there was like 50 pencils in that. But yeah, these are the first artist quality supplies I ever got at the thrift store. Definitely, definitely go to the thrift store to look for art supplies. I got like 50 Pushmacolor pencils for like five bucks. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, um, these are the first, these are the only color pencils I have ever worked with, um, no, that's a lie, I had like a 12 set of, uh, Derwent Color Soft pencils, and I prefer these over the Color Soft, they're much more smoother, they're not as scratchy, the color range, um, is very bigger, and yeah, I really like these pencils, they just, break a lot. I'm thinking about um, getting another set to see how I like those. So I might get another brand of color pencils soon. And then Oil Pastels by Pentel Arts. I really like Pentel. Uh, I trust their products like the Pentel Color Brush and then I have some mark, um, other pens by them as well. And then, yep, these are them. I have the 36 set. Uh, I've been using these since high school as well, not this specific set, but I had like 20 something set. Got the mixture, and I found like a 12 pack at the 99 cent store by them. And yeah, I, they're really fun to do. They're really um, quick medium to work with and I like to do portraits and I love the color range they have um, and it's they're really easy to blend so I recommend getting them if you're still like learning color and they're a lot like crayons except they're like run-up crayons so I, I describe them <laughs> moving on my next uh, some of my favorite watercolors are the Koi watercolor pocket filled sketch um, box. 
uh, not only is it fun, like I like the colors and versatility they have, but also I could simply put it up in my thumb and take it places. Oh, one of those things fell off. My bad. Yeah, as you can see, my palette is really dirty because I use it quite frequently. And I did swatch it out right here. And then spray a lot of my pastel and sample and pencil drawing. I have some fixative. I really like this. It just kind of smells like nail polish. So I, um, and it does that. And I, I like that noise. Like, um, I just have to make sure my windows are open, the fans go, and the doors open. I can't. I just be ventilated really well or else um, I don't want to be coughing everywhere and then to sketch I really like these coal erase pencils I got my mom bought me a set uh, from the thrift store um, so these are kind of old they're by Faber-Castell coal erase I have quite a few this is kind of stubby and this one looks the most presentable I think uh, I like Tucson Red, I believe that's how you pronounce it, and um, pink, I like the warm colors, and that kind of stuff. And then um, to sharpen my pencils, I just like a regular uh, metal type of sharpener. Uh, I have quite a few, I have some in my purse, so when I bring them along in my um, to work and on the train and the metro, um, so that Sharpen it. I do have uh, two of these. Uh, one of them has a plastic case. It's um, Artist Loft, which is Michael's in store brand of uh, sharpeners. It has two little holes one for the bigger pencils and one for the smaller, regular, um, more common sized pencils. Yeah, I like it when um, the case, so when I go traveling, I don't have to like it out always right there and then to blend um, my charcoal pencils and sometimes graphite like these blending stuffs I used um, artist law again Michael in store brand <laughs> um, blending stuffs um, they're called something else but I don't I'm not really sure how to pronounce it and even if I did I'm probably I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be pronouncing it right anyways. Yeah, these are really good. This one's really clean. I got a bunch of new ones. Uh, this, so, <laughs> you compare this to this. This one's a couple of years old. I think I had this since high school. So, uh, there's that. And then moving on to sketchbook, I really like Hanson Mixed Media because I could use all sorts of stuff. I could use my marker, and then I could use a watercolor, and then I like to top color pencil on top to make it a bit more. This is still a work in progress, but yeah, I like to um, do a watercolor wash, and then top it up with pencil to, color pencil to help it flow, and then I know I could using graph lines with this. I don't like charcoal on this, surprisingly enough. And then there's... And I can use foil pastels. I really like these. Um, yeah, so... This is a 9x12 type. I, ha I had an 8x11 um, smaller sketchbook but I used that all up and I also like toned uh, sketchbooks as well I like this one because it's so small this is Keshex by Della and Ronnie I got this at Barnes and Nobles so yeah um, definitely check out the art supply section at Barnes and Nobles um, sometimes they have some really nice stuff so, yeah see I like how the white contrast on the papers like uh, I use ink on it sometimes and 
this is what I use for my charcoal drawings because I just like how it kind of flows on these. And I like to do quick little sketches in here. I used to bring this to work. Um, so then I brought it home to finish something up. And, you know, goony guinea pig. Um, shoot it up. Thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel and watching this video. It really means a lot to me. Um, if you have any video or tutorial ideas you'd like to see from me, let me know. I'd be glad to do that for you guys. Uh, leave a comment down below anything. Uh, leave me a big thumbs up if you want to see more stuff like this. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think that's about it. I'm going to start rambling on if I try to think of anything else. <laughs> so, thanks for watching.